are change makers in our communities. And nobody fits that description better than my first guest. Now, he spent his life entertaining and educating us every day on his radio show. Give it up for my friend, Tom Joyner. up to you so much and Aww. I want to thank you for helping me get to where I am today because you really believed in me. I do. You do and you watch the show all the time. I do. And I think what do you think about the show? I love the show. Oh. I love the show. Uh, I'm so proud. My chest is out. <laughs> you know? John, yeah. you. Uh, yeah, you spawned so some proud. great ones. I yeah. just, you know, and, and I know this, you have battled, you've battled uh, some health issues. You recently had a stroke, and you look great. But how are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm good. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> now, I, you know, we remember you from the radio, the Tom Joyner Morning Show. You retired after 50 years of being on the radio. <laughs> So, Tom, literally, it's 50 years. You, do you miss being on the radio? No. <laughs> not at all? Not at all? No. Really, why not? Because I had to get up at 3 in the morning. Yeah. And now I don't get up before noon. In fact, <laughs> in fact I'm doing you a favor. I know, he said, Tom said he's doing me a favor. I know, because you, you wouldn't be no. up. No, yeah. I would not be up. And you, you travel the world, so you, you actually I are do. doing me a favor by coming <laughs> in. Because the last time I talked to you, you were in Dubai. I think you were, were you in Dubai? No, I was in Riyadh. You were in Riyadh. And I showed, and I, yeah, I sent the pictures of them. And you sent the pictures when yeah. you were traveling around the world. So, yeah. yes, thank I'm you. I'm still traveling. I'm still the fly jock. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fly a lot, and I keep it fly. Uh, there you go. <laughs> now, speaking of the fly jock. You were nicknamed the fly jock because you flew back and forth for nine years from Dallas and Chicago, between Dallas and Chicago every single day Crazy. for nine years. Oh, my gosh. Where did your work ethic come from? Uh, Tuskegee. When you were at Tuskegee University? Yeah. yeah. And that's where I'm from. Tuskegee, Alabama is where you're from. Tuskegee, Alabama is where I'm from. Yeah. And, um, you know, work ethic... I didn't know that was a. I didn't know that was a thing until after I, after I started doing it. Yeah. Uh, so get up in the morning at three, on the air at five, uh, off the air at nine. Back then they wouldn't have TSA. Yeah. So I could catch. I could get off the air at nine, haul ass to the airport, <laughs> and catch a nine thirty flight. Yeah. Wow. To do each station. Yeah, and I fly to Chicago. Yeah. Uh, arrive around noon. Mm -hmm. Go to the, go to the health club. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> on the air two, off the air at six. At O'Hare to catch a six thirty flight. Back home to check uh, homework at nine thirty. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you about that that's work ethic. That is actually blew my mind. This right here because your career might have been so different if you had never quit the group, the Commodores, <laughs> okay? The Commodores with Lionel Richie. You, okay. Tom, you have got to tell me, do you ever think about if you hadn't quit the Commodores, uh -huh. what would have happened? Yeah, How would you I, almost in the Commodores? Every time I talk to Skeet, I, I think about it. Yeah. No, um, the group was, uh, was, was formed in Tuskegee. Yeah. We were, we were all in college together. Okay. Uh, we started in a, a freshman orientation, a freshman talent show. Yeah. And then um, we started doing clubs, and, and on breaks, we would travel up here to New York. Okay. And perform. And perform. Yeah. Um, at places like Small's Paradise. Uh huh. We, uh, a guy discovered, discovered us and said he wanted us to uh, drop out of school. And my parents said... <laughs> so when they came by to pick me up so we can go on the road and, and make history... Yeah. I said, I can't go. You told Lionel Richie and them you couldn't go with the Commodores? Well, it was... <laughs> And I, ne 
never listen to another thing my daddy said. <laughs> <laughs> so your daddy told you never listen to another thing your father said. Because you could have been that you could have been that member in the Commodore. I could have been that rich. You could have. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the one thing I know, you're rich in spirit because you've always been really generous. Do you remember when you took me um, and Kim Whitley? You remember when you took us uh, on a shopping spree for Valentine's Day? You do? What did you think of that when you heard that? This is all of the... This is all the Louis Vuitton you bought us. Okay, so Valentine's Day is my most important holiday. Yes. Because I like kisses and hugs yes. and, and all the things that go beyond that. <laughs> so, ever since school, ever since school, elementary school, I've always done Valentine's big. Yeah. In hopes. You know. <laughs> always hoping. <laughs> Leave the door open. <laughs> hoping. So, this was just another Valentine's Day for me, because I always did it big. So, I said, all right, Kim, Sherry, yeah. boo number one, boo number two. Yes. Not in that order. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you ask me when they're there. Yes. So you number one, boo. Number one today, yes. No, you number one. Oh. Kim, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I never knew y'all wanted to give me some until I saw the show. <laughs> And twos. You like your booze and twos. And you, on that segment, you said, you said, me and, me and Kim was trying to figure out which one of us is going to go first and give him some. <laughs> are we going to kiss or what we going to do? And I never knew any of that. <laughs> and I just, you know, I thought, I thought we had a good time shopping and having dinner and that was it. Yeah, we did. We did have a good time, but I didn't know there was a possibility. <laughs> I said, I said to myself, all right, well, that's another one. Because most Valentine's Day, I have never gotten any. Yes. Most. <laughs> I'd say 90% of them. So I just chalked it up as another one, but that would have that would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That would have been a story a, for the books. We had a good time and then we did it again in Miami. We did it in Miami. You took us shopping again. I took you shopping again. You, I took you to see Andre Bocelli. You took us on your private boat to see Andrea Bocelli. That's right. And then I, uh, and then I took you to the uh, women's shelter yeah, to, to spread the love. Yes, because yes, because we went to a women's shelter. Tom gave all of the women at the women's shelter roses and a gift for Valentine's Day. <laughs> and it was like, because you're amazing like that. And you still do this amazing work for HBCUs, and you have the fancy. <laughs> like, you have raised. Tom Journey, you've raised more money for HBCUs because you, you went to, you graduated from Tuskegee University, but you have something called the Fantastic Voyage Cruise. Can you tell us about that? Well, uh, the cruise for the last, um, this is, this will be number 23, yeah. 22. Yeah. Uh, we skipped a year for COVID. Uh-huh. Uh, we raised, um, we raised over a million dollars. Yeah. Uh, for each crew. Yeah. And we have, it's a, we call it a party with a purpose. It's a party with a purpose. And, and you party till you drop. Yes. Oh, you don't... Because you have the theme nights, which I love, and you're all parties 24-7. <laughs> Tom Joyner never goes to bed. If you see him on a cruise, he raised a million dollars per cruise, but you, you never go to sleep. You never go to sleep. Can't. Why not? Because the party's 24-7. Got to get the party ready. <laughs> and, um... and I'm on the... And, and, and I'm serious. Like, the Gap Band didn't go on till 3 in the morning. Yeah. And then they and then they and then they go to uh, breakfast. No, they go to uh, uh, sunrise. Yeah. And we and we and we pray because we we gonna sin so much. <laughs> now this cruise is taking place. <laughs> this new cruise is taking place when? May. So it's May. This cruise is taking place in May. We got Stevie Wonder uh, who's gonna be on the cruise. 
I don't remember who else besides Stevie Wonder. Stevie, Stevie Wonder, Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Oh. And, uh, Charlie. And Charlie Wilson is going to be on the cruise. Got to be on this cruise. It's the most are, amazing cruise. Those are only three. We have, we have like 50 performers. Every night, no matter what you want, you get band night, you know, comedy, gospel, it's all on the Fantastic Voyage Cruise. Tom Joyner, I want to say I love you so much. I love Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, for more info on the great work being done by the Tom Joyner Foundation, go to SherryShowTV.com.